Hi, I'm Kenny Reardon, uh, also known some, by some as the Guitar Whisperer. Today what I want to talk about is a new pickup that I was exposed to fairly recently by uh, John Brown of Brown's Guitar Factory. It's in this guitar, and it's called the Tucker Bucker, and it is a departure from a lot of pickups that are out there in that uh, unlike the low wind El Nico 2, 5, 4, 3, whatever number you want, uh, it is a, a special wind using an El Nico 8. Now the first El Nico 8 pickups I ever heard were really, really hot and they were really, really muddy and they were immediate turnoff for me and I, I enjoy all kinds of music, rock and roll and country and blues and everything. But the uh, El Nico 8s had turned me off in, you know, in the past. John approached me with this and told me it was one, and it, I was hesitant at first. But after listening to this pickup, I've placed it in this guitar, which is kind of my, uh, my slide guitar for my band. All it is is your standard 62 Melody Maker uh, single pickup. It came to me in real rough shape, so uh, there was no, it was routed for a humbucking, so there was no damage to a vintage instrument here. But uh, standard fare, 500K pots, I believe original, 022 capacitor, uh, and the Tucker Bucker. The first thing I noticed about the Tucker Bucker, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, is that it has the cool square sharp pointed corners that you would see on some old PAFs, which kind of attracts me anyway, and then the nickel plating. Uh, now, as far as the sound goes, uh, I'm gonna try and play it in a bunch of different contexts so that you can really hear what it, what it is. Right now, I've got it going through your basic silver face twin reverb and an original Ibanez TS-808 tube screamer. So, and nothing more, just the guitar, the chord, and the tube screamer. Uh, of course, I can turn the guitar down and get real clean, illustrating that even with the tube screamer on, the Tucker Bucker does clean up. to be screaming with overtones, the type that you'd expect from a PAF style pickup. Now I'm going to cut for a second and I'm going to put on a distortion that's a little bit more aggressive so you can hear how it's going to sound with a more aggressive distortion. Now, in this particular shot, I have hooked this same guitar, same amp, everything the same through an EWS brood drive. When you play the high strings with this pickup, they don't get lost, they don't get small. They're... stay fat, they stay full, the low strings, massive. So the Tucker Bucker gives you everything that you really would want for a pickup, especially in this context. Uh, it would work equally well in a guitar that was not being used for slide and had um, Two of them, but all in all, uh, kudos and thumbs up to the Tucker Bucker. It is one of my favorite pickups, and it's staying in this guitar forever. Mm -hmm. 